antigen presenting cells. We will talk about it. That what are antigen presenting cells? Neutrophils are not that. Neutrophils just eat up the antigen pathogen, break it up into smaller pieces, kill it and throw it. That is it. That is what they do. We will talk more about it that what are the actions which happen. Remember the reactive oxygen species? So, they make reactive oxygen species and then they pour, they make bleach, they pour them onto the bacteria and the pathogen or kill them. So, innate immune system. Then there is one more very important factor and that is a macrophage. So, this guy is really badass. He is really bad. If you want to stay away from someone, stay away from a macrophage. Just do not go near a macrophage. Macrophage is very, very important. Why? This cell not only is part of the innate system and not only it kills the pathogens, it actually see here it has a fawn of its own. So, if you would see here some cells have their own fawns. So, they have a signaling mechanism, they have chemical substances which they release as signals which then go and activate other things. So, macrophage are very important activators of neutrophil which is part of the innate system and of the acquired system. We will talk about that a little later. So, macrophage really is a central player of the immune system. If you are doing immunology and you did not know neutrophil or macrophage or the helper T cells and B cells, you actually do not know immunology then. So, please remember macrophage is a very important part of innate arm of immunology. So, in this defense city, he is a big cop there. He does a lot of things, but he also helps the acquired system to function and then acquired system helps macrophage back to become further active and do more functions. So, anyways macrophage is actually a monocyte which has moved from the blood stream and gone into the tissue as a result of some chemotactic signals coming from a tissue which is in stress because of a pathogen and macrophage reaches there and he is going to go and try to fix things. So, macrophage when a monocyte when a monocyte migrates from the blood into the tissue, it converts into macrophage. And there are there are various type of macrophages. We have microglia in the brain, we have Kupffer cells in the liver, Langerhans cells, Langhand cells, and so on. These are all various type of macrophages living in various tissues. So some of the macrophages actually end up in the tissue then stick around and live there for a long time. Okay. Then another very important type is dendritic cells. So, if you see here this guy has dendrites. These, this guy has nothing to do with the neurons. I know that neurons have dendrites too, right? but this guy has nothing to do with that. It just he has those branchy branches or the limbs. Dendritic cell is also a very important cell of the innate immune system. Normally, dendritic cells are found under most of the skin surfaces and the mucous surfaces and so on. These are the guys who are sitting right behind the walls of the city. The Jane whale or the John whale right under the walls are sitting the dendritic cells. They are sitting there, they are waiting. A pathogen comes, they are going to grab it. So, that is their function. What do they do once they grab it? See, if you see here, this guy has a little burner of his own, macrophage has a burner of his own, dendritic cell has a burner of his own. These are cells which are phagocytic cells, they eat up the pathogen, then they put it in a burner and they break it up. The question is what do they do after they break it up? So, neutrophil does not care, he has broken up the bacteria, he is going to try to digest it or throw it out, that is a neutrophil not a very responsible guy. He looks at something, he attacks it, he finishes it, but he throws it out. He, he throws the trash out as well. These two guys are much, much more responsible. So, these are like cops who are going to arrest the criminal and bring it to the justice system. So, what they do is, well, there is just one thing which is bad. Not only do they arrest the criminal, they break it up into smaller pieces and then bring those small pieces back to the justice system. So, dendritic cells job is the same as well. As soon as it eats up phagocytosis, a pathogen breaks it up into multiple smaller pieces, then it would stick them out, it is a show off. It is going to stick it out and say, hey look what did I find and then run around in the whole world 
and try to show it to everyone saying, oh, look, look, what, what did I get? It's, it's a fun stuff here. And what would happen is some of the cells would then recognize that, oh, my God, he's holding an, a foreign substance. And then they would become active and try to kill the pathogen. So the neutrophil is a phagocytic cell, but not antigen presenting cell. A macrophage is a monocyte which has moved from this from the cell, from the blood into the tissue, and now he has become a professional cell, and he is going to pick up the pathogen, eat it up, break it up into pieces, and then put those pieces out in his hand, saying, look, what did I find, and take it to the lab, where there are soldiers sitting and trying to figure out how to kill these pathogens. So remember, this, this is our body. This is the Jane Will or John Will. These are the defense mechanisms in there. These are people who are sitting in there, they're little cells, not people. They're sitting in there and they're protecting us, okay? So dendritic cells function is also to protect us by breaking up the bacteria and then bringing it to some other higher authorities. Do you see those little things over here? We'll talk about those in a second. These are the MHC complexes. But anyways, this is the, the innate system. Now. Before we talk more about the trained system or acquired system, I want to talk one more thing. Let's say these are two of our body cells. These are two houses in, in the Jane will or John will. The pathogen which is trying to attack and come in, there are two types of pathogens. Some pathogens love to sit outside in the tissue or hide in the muscle or just move around in the blood. And some pathogens love to go and get hidden inside a cell. They try to find a hiding place. As soon as they find a hiding place, they jump in and they live there. Then they replicate there and finally they break that house open and come out. So if you see here this little broken house, what had happened here? A pathogen had entered into this house, replicated itself, hid inside, replicated and finally broke this house and came out. It's a broken cell. So if you see here, there are two cells. One cell is looking very happy. This is a healthy cell. The people inside, the machines inside, the protein manufacturing units inside the cell, they're all healthy. So the cell is well maintained, it is happy, it is showing MHC1. Please remember, all nucleated cells, all nucleated cells display MHC1 on their surfaces. Major histocompatibility complex one on their cell, all nucleated cells do that. There is no connection with immunology or immunity. That's what they do. Now, when the cell becomes sick, when a pathogen has entered the cell, what is it going to do? What do the pathogens do inside the cell? They hide in there. They pick up cells machinery. They change them to make pathogens, right? They change the factories of the cell to make themselves. They're trying to grow. So what do you think? If they are changing the factories of the cell, do you think cell would make its own proteins or would make more pathogens? Of course, it's going to make more pathogens. So this is a criminal who is hiding inside a factory. He has changed the machinery in there to make more of his cells. So tell me this. Will this house be properly maintained? Will it have those little little plants and the MHC complexes and the proteins and the function. No, this is a sick cell. He is filled with the pathogens and his factories are all broken and modified by the pathogen and they are busy making the pathogens. So this cell is not making plants. This cell is not making people who are going to maintain the cell. So he's going to look sick. And this is what is very important for immune system. When a cell looks sick, what does that mean? This is what it means. Do not forget this because we'll use this in next lectures. Number one, if it is a tumor cell, then it displays mica on its surface. It displays MICA on its surface. And this natural killer cell, remember I said that natural killer cell is sort of a pervert. He's going to massage everything around him. So when this natural killer cell massages this sick cell and finds out, oh my God, there's a mica over there. He becomes activated and kills it. Similarly, when a pathogen is hide, hiding inside this cell, 
the cell has become less tight